Hello everyone. This is a lesson on angle of inclination. Okay. Let me show you which angle are they talking about. You have a Cartesian plane like this. And then you have a straight line going like that. That angle from the x-axis to the line. That's the angle of inclination. Okay. You can have it like this also. If you have a line like that. From the x-axis to the line. That's the angle of inclination. Why are we interested in the angle of inclination? Because we can find a gradient using the angle of inclination. Tan, angle of inclination, which you usually call theta, is equal to the gradient. So if you have the gradient, you can find the angle. If you have an angle, you can find the gradient. Let's use an example. Okay, we're given an example here. With this example, we have two lines. Line AB and line BC. And then we were asked to find the angle between the two lines. Um, they use theta to find that angle. So what we know is that the angle of inclination, the angle from here to there is the angle of inclination and is equals to the tangent of the gradient of the equation. So we're going to use the formula y, no, not y, tan, theta which is the gradient of in inclination because we have two lines here we have to specify we're gonna say tan theta for a b is equals to gradient what is the gradient for a b the gradient is that number that goes with x so it means we got tan theta for a b is equals to 3 over 2 then we can find the angle AB. We go shift turn fraction three over two. Then angle of inclination for AB is equal to fifty six comma three one degrees. Which angle is that? It is the angle from the x-axis to the line. So it's this angle from the x-axis to the line. So this is 56,31. That's the definition for the angle of inclination. Is the angle from the x-axis to the line, the, spaces, the space between the two. Okay, let's look at for A, A, C. Right. Tan theta for AC. What is the gradient for AC? Is minus 2. Okay. So theta for AC is equal to shift tan minus 2. Get negative 63,43 degrees. Now, usually learners have confusion when they get a negative number, a negative angle. When you get a negative angle, it means it's going and it's going clockwise. When you calculate angles anti-clockwise, they are positive. When you calculate them clockwise, it's negative. So that negative 63,43 is this angle here. That angle is 63,43. Why is it negative? Because it's going clockwise. That's why you have that negative. Okay. This angle that you found here, it's not angle of inclination. Because angle of inclination is from the x-axis to the line. So it's this angle. When you get the negative one, you're getting this one. So in this question, they didn't ask you the angle of inclination. So the angle that you got is this one. Okay, so don't don't be confused by uh, the negative. Just understand that the when you get a negative angle, it's going anti-clockwise. Now, how am I gonna get this angle? Do you see these angles are on a straight line? So, I have theta plus sixty-three comma four three degrees plus fifty-six comma three one degrees is equal to one eight. And reason is 
hängers und ist drittle. Okay? So, what will be your theta? When you subtract the two, 180 minus 56.31 minus 63.43 is equals to 60,26 degrees. Okay. Learners usually want to say when I have negative 63.3, I must minus it to from 180. If you do that, you will get the angle of inclination. Let's say we did we did that, we would have found this angle. That's another way you could have done that. Let, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, you could have done 180 minus. 63.43 and then found that angle of inclination 180 minus 63.43 then we get 116.57 so this whole angle is 116.57 degrees now if i wanted this one i'll just minus that minus 56.31 you get exactly the same answer as the other one your theta will still be 60,26 what I need you to do in this section is to understand what you are doing wait and think about it don't just say oh because when I get a negative I subtract it from 180 you need to understand why you subtracting it from 180. You need to also understand, do I need to subtract it from 180 in that particular question? So like in this question, you got that. You don't need to subtract it from 180. You need to understand what the negative means, why are we subtracting from 180 um, in some instances and why we are not subtracting. Okay, I hope you practice, practice. And this is not a hard section. Thank you for watching.